Hey guys, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you were messaging me asking about this whole nude sticks not being vegan thing, especially with their new launch. It's their product called the Magnetic Lip Plush Paints and it has an ingredient called propolis extract. So in this video, I'm just going to dive in what propolis extract is and whether it's vegan or not and just some overall thoughts on the situation. Okay, so I'm gonna pop up a bunch of screenshots like right here of what I'm referring to. I'm just looking on my phone. So right now I'm on the Nude Sticks website. In the description of the product, it does say the product is vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and fragrance-free. Now, beside vegan, it has like two uh, stars, meaning that it should reference something else, but in the actual product description, there's no further reference of what that means. However, when you go to the ingredients page, so I'll have a picture right here, there is two stars beside propolis extract. Now they say that propolis extract is harvested from plant buds, resin, and tree sap resins. And there's no mention that this is actually a bee byproduct, which it is. So if you're vegan, yes, propolis extract is a bee byproduct. If you don't want to use bee byproducts or any animal byproducts, then you want to avoid this in your skincare and food and whatever. It's basically a similar equivalent to beeswax. I mean, not the product itself, but bees are involved in the process of making this. So for me, I think that's a little bit misleading to say that your product is vegan in the description and then not further clarify in the description what that really means. And then in the ingredients list, just saying that propolis extract comes from tree resin, there is also bees involved in that process. Um, it's mixed with their saliva and beeswax and other things. Propolis is basically like the glue of the hive and it helps things stick together. It is really great for your skin, but if you're vegan and you want to avoid it, then maybe you wouldn't know that. Also, people with bee allergies want to avoid propolis extract because, again, it's made with bee saliva, contains enzymes that you could potentially be allergic to. Okay, so I found an open access article that just talks more about bee byproducts, so I'm going to link that in the description below. I'm just going to read a few excerpts from it so you kind of understand more what propolis is and maybe why it's used in this product. So propolis is generally known as the bee glue, which is a generic name that refers to the resinous substance accumulated by the bees from different types of plants. Propolis functions in sealing holes and cracks and for reconstruction of the beehive. It is also used for smoothing the inner surface of the beehive, retaining the hive's internal temperature, preventing weathering and invasion by predators. Propolis and its extracts have numerous applications in treating various diseases due to its antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antibacterial, antimycotic, antifungal, anti-ulcer, anti-cancer, and immunomodulary properties. Further down in the article, it further describes what it's composed of so propolis is the third most important component of bee products there it's loud and clear that this is a product made from bees it's the combination of saps and resins that they collect from plants and trees but then also their own saliva so it is composed of mainly resin wax essential oils pollen and other organic compounds and then it goes on to get more specific and like what those compounds actually are which is not really important for this video okay so on their instagram there's also quite a bit of controversy of people in the comments someone and i'll have this picture up here so someone commented these contain propolis so they're not vegan is the vegan claim on the website the fault or is the ingredient list wrong if you used a vegan alternative to propolis then you didn't use propolis and it shouldn't be in the ingredients list. Please tell me which one is the error, the ingredients list or the marketing. And Nude Sticks replied, Hi babe, thanks for your comment. Please check out the product pages on our site for more information on our vegan options. Link in bio. For any other questions, please feel to email us directly at hello at nudesticks.com. But again, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you do go to the product page, it does say that this product is vegan. And then if you go to the ingredients page, it does not mention that this is a bee byproduct or animal byproduct. It just say that it, it just says that it's an extract from tree resins. Even if you went and did what they said to look for more information, it's really not clear whether this is a vegan product or not, because they do say that it's vegan, but they also say that propolis is from tree resins, which is just not true. It is a composition of tree resins and bee saliva to create this glue, sticky kind of product that they use as glue in their hives. Okay, and even furthermore with the comments, um, somebody asked what is the verdict on whether or not this product contains propolis, and then somebody else also asked, yes, is this safe for someone with a severe bee product allergy? 
and they just copied and pasted the same response as the other person's question. But again, if you go to the product page, it's still not clear. It does say that it's vegan under the conditions that propolis is a tree resin extract, which mentions no animal byproducts or bee byproducts. So it's really not clear to the consumer and they would then have to go look up what propolis actually is. So I don't know too much about nude sticks, but a lot of people were also mentioning that they allegedly used to say that they're 100% vegan. And now it does clearly say on their website that they say, we know how much our boss babes value a clean makeup routine. That's why we make sure all of our products are paraben free, gluten free, cruelty free with vegan options. But apparently, allegedly, it used to say vegan, that all their products were vegan which could have never been the case even before this Magnetic Lip Plush product because they do use Carmine, which is a beetle shell pigment, beetle shell derived pigment that's turned into its aluminum salt, so it's called Red Lake or Carmine, and that is an animal byproduct because it's made with beetle shells. But with that product, which is, it's one of the wax crayons, I'm not sure which one it is, they do clarify that it's not vegan, the one that has Carmine in it. But this newer product, they still do say it's vegan, which I have a little bit of an issue with because if no, generally consumers actually don't go and read ingredients list, they just purchase a product. And if it says vegan, if even if there's two stars beside it, that might not be enough for someone to actually go check out the ingredients list. There should be a disclaimer in the description of that product. Okay, that is basically all I have to say about this situation. Yes, propolis is an animal and bee byproduct. It's not a vegan ingredient. So I just wanna hear your thoughts on this situation. What do you guys think? Are you vegan or does this not really matter to you? I'm not vegan and I would use like beeswax, honey, or propolis, but I think that it is a consumer information and education issue when you're sharing information that could be misleading to consumers. All right, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.